Hey everybody, it's Comp Help. Thank you for watching this video, which is part 10 to my 3D Studio Max series for beginners. Today I'm going to go over another modeling technique, which is really cool because you can like make simple windows and you can make uh, like beds and simple things. I mean, use your imagination. You, you can make like bowls and stuff using this technique. Uh, let me show you what we're going to do here. I'm going to make a wall, quote, quote, air quoting mall, a wall, and I'm going to make a box, okay, in the front view. Great. doesn't really matter how big it is, but how thick it is. Make it, eh, this thing is a wall. I'm looking at my top view right now. I made it about that thick. I'm going to right click. Actually, no, we're good for now. Um, I'm going to make another box actually in the top view. So we can actually go through, we can slice through, make a box through our wall. So look at that. I'm going to go past both of those uh, wall. Boom and boom. It's cutting through. Okay. Now I'm looking at my front view at this point. I'm going to let go front view and I want it about that big. That's fine. It's actually kind of a big big window there but whatever okay I'm gonna go over to my front view scroll out a bit and I can actually press W and you know move this down and if I look at my perspective view we can see the square is like cutting through okay it's cutting through our wall which is exactly what we want now I'm gonna give you guys a, sh a shortcut and it, it's very simple and you guys will probably be mad at me for not showing you this before because it's so simple um, we're gonna hold shift Make sure our move tool is on. Hold shift and move in the X direction. Look at that. You just copied that box over. It's the same exact size and everything. Just in a different uh, position, different spot. Go to copy and click OK. Great. So now we have two boxes. And, well, you're probably all pissed off at me because, well, I didn't show you that copy before. But, hey, it's fine. It's cool. And I mean, while we're on it, you can even copy in the rotation tool. Rotation. See, if I rotate while holding shift, okay, see how I have another box there? If I move this up or so, look at that, I have another, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's how, uh, that's how easy it is to copy stuff. Oops, top. Okay, so let's, you can also do it scaling, just for the record. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some windows, because right now I seem kind of like a crazy person. Let's select our wall, okay? I'm going to actually bring this Alt W and, you know, just bring this huge. Let's select our, our wall and I'm going to go over to, instead of standard primitives, let's go to compound objects and I'm going to go to Boolean. Boolean. Yeah, it's kind of a weird name. Now let's go to subtraction A to B. Pick Opera into B and now select one of these squares or boxes. Boom. Look at that. We have now taken out a, uh, a box. Let's go back to pick up and B, make sure it's on subtraction. Boom. There we go. Great. It's gone. Pretty cool. Just let me right click uh, Boolean. Pick up and B. Boom. Gone. Okay, there we go. I don't know why that happened. I just got out of the command and I went back to Boolean and I did it again. So that's all I did. So there we go. We have like uh, windows, right? Cool. Now, there is actually a faster way of doing this. Um, so let me go ahead and make another box. Oops. Go over to standard primitives, box, and, okay, great. And I'm just going to copy that over once. No, let's click two, make two copies. Okay, great. All right, now I'm going to position these in different areas. Okay, it's pretty cool. I can even cut through that one right there so you can see what this is going to be like. Um, I'll put this one over here just to be cool. All right, too cool for school. Too school for cool, I mean. It's a song by, I don't know who, but I have that stuck in my head. Select the wall, and let's go over to Compound Objects. And this time, instead of clicking Boolean, go to Pro Boolean. And Subtraction, great, start picking. That means that we can start clicking multiple boxes or multiple things and start subtracting things. Instead of having to go to Boolean multiple times, we can just select it once. And look at that. Now we've made a pretty cool object. It's looking pretty sweet there, but look at it. It's getting all kind of corrupted. That's not that's not very cool right there. But, uh, yeah, if we go to F4, maybe F3. See the wireframe? Okay, F3 again. You can see what's going on there. F3 again. Or we can go over here to sh uh, smooth and highlights. Okay, every video I'm showing you something different, just so you know. So, you know, just simple stuff. Right click, get out of start picking, and well, there you go. That's, uh, that's your wall. This kind of reminds me of a creeper on um, Minecraft for some reason, like the eyes. 
and uh, I don't know. Okay, so there's that. Let me go ahead and reset this. No, I don't want to save. Yes. Go back to, let's go make a sphere. Make it right there. Great. And actually what I could do, what I could do here is actually go to front view and I'm going to bring this up some. And what I can do is copy it and I'm going to scale this down a bit. Okay, bring this down. All right. And now I'm just going to uh, do something else here. Let's go back to compound objects, Boolean, subtraction, pick up and B. Boom. Look at that. Pretty cool. Like an olive or something. I don't know. Okay. All right. So that's pretty cool. What else can Boolean do? Well, we can do something else, which is really cool. Um, we have that shape. And let's say I also have a box. Cool. Now we can do something pretty interesting, which is a union, which means we'll combine both of these objects to one. Let me move this really quick so you can see that they're separate objects. I move this one to a separate object. Great. Um, yeah, let me go over to compound objects here. Boolean, and instead of subtraction, click union and click Opera and B. Boom. Now it's one object. If I move this, move this one. And if I go to wireframe, you'll see that it's all connected like that. If I, if I go back some and I go to wireframe, you'll see that it's two different things. Jerry, why is the wireframe different color? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Um, if we select this, let me actually go to F3. If I select this object, you'll see it's purple, right? Um, look at this color over here. This is actually the wireframe color. If I click that, we can actually change the wireframe color, which, wow, I just changed the color of my object. Uh, not really. That's I mean, yeah, you change the color of your object, but it's not really, that's not the proper way of doing it. Um, let's select off this object, so nothing is selected now. Um, press F3. Now you can see the color of the wireframe is actually the orange color that we that we made. Okay, so let me change this to like a to pink. And we'll click OK and we'll select off. And there we go. Uh, now you can see the wireframe is pink. Uh, just making different wireframe colors can actually get you very organized when modeling and stuff, advanced modeling, and when things are just kind of going corrupted. Uh, you know, everything just kind of looks the same. You might want to change the wireframe colors of some stuff so you can kind of get to know what you're doing and uh, yeah, get organized. Okay. And also, I mean, I guess if you want, that's not the proper way of changing a, uh, as you would say, a material color. I mean, if you render this out, yeah, they come out in that color, but that's not the proper way. Um, I will show you that in the future. But uh, anyways, there you go. That's what I wanted to show you, Boolean, which is pretty much you can subtract some parts like I did here, and you can actually union some things together, which looks like that. And now they're both together, which is really cool. If we go to wireframe, you see that they're both connected. That's really what I want to show you in Boolean. Um, a bed would just be like a, you know, this box. And then you make a smaller box. And let me, I can show you on this side, actually. I'm just going to box. Uh, oops. Oops, oops. Let's click this. And boom. And I'll actually move this uh, like that. So it's actually cutting in. Okay, and I can just, you know, go to, you know, Boolean or compound objects, Boolean, uh, subtraction, pick up and beat, boom. And you see, we have made ourselves kind of like a, uh, a place where a mattress would go for a bed or something. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's Boolean. It's really great. You can actually use it to make a lot of unique things. But look at look how the uh, look how the wireframe gets all crazy like that. Just be aware of that. It can get kind of crazy, especially when you try to go in and try to edit this in like, let's say, sub object mode. Um, yeah, and if you want to start editing this like the polygons and such, you just do what you did before. Right click, convert to editable mesh, and now you can start selecting the uh, polygons and such. And I mean, like I showed you before, you can start beveling things and start making things look really cool. Okay, so so there you go. And if you press F4, you can actually see you know the things that you're editing and uh, and such. Okay, so. There you go. Thank you for watching this video. Please set thumbs up, comment, and subscribe.